What's going on everybody? It's Lights Out from MaddenDaily.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to flip read options. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried to flip a read option in this year's Madden and you might have thought okay you can't do it because it's not the conventional way of flipping it but it's extremely easy. The people that do know how to flip read options might be like why are you going to waste a video on this but a lot of people don't know and I actually didn't know until about a couple weeks ago. Right now I'm just showing you a clip of Pistol Ace. Of course in a symmetrical um, offensive formation you can flip it by flipping the actual formation. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about keeping the formation the way it is like a, a Pistol Bunch or a Pistol Wing Trips. Say the formation like Wing Trips it only has a read option to one side. The read option is to the left. So the play is called F lead read option. It's designed to go to the left side. The reading defensive end is on the left. So we're going to read if he runs down, he's going to be playing the run. So we're going to keep it with the quarterback like so. Again, as you can see, the defensive end runs at the running back. We're going to keep it with the QB. And if he stands up and stays still, that means he's reading the quarterback in which we're going to press A or X on the PS4 to hand it off to the running back for a nice gain up the middle. And there's no reason to flip the read option to the right because as you can see, it's just a basic 4-3 two-man under with no nickel back or safety playing down. But here we're audibling to a nickel and we're bringing the safety down. So now the left side looks pretty contained. We wouldn't want to run a read option to the left because even if that defensive end runs down at the run more than likely either the nickel back or free safety on the left will get the quarterback for no gain or a loss of yards so now we're going to try to flip the play since the run is going to the left most common sense thing to do would be trying to flick the right stick to the right and as you see as you could see you cannot flick the right stick to the right to flip the run but if you flick the run to the same side as the initial read option so to the left the run will flip to the right. So if you flick the read option to the side of the run, it will flip the read option. So although really basic, once you know this, now you don't need an offensive formation that's symmetrical to flip a read option either left or right. This makes a lot of pistol formations that someone may not have used prior to knowing this a lot more deadlier. Two of them that come to mind is the pistol wing trips, and the pistol bunch. Now looking at the pistol bunch, you can see that there's a lot of good passing plays and there is a read option to the left, but there's no read option to the right. So before knowing this, you might not think it's that good, but that read option to the right is actually extremely good. The reason why it would be so effective is when you flip the run, we have three receivers on that side. And if they're in a set like nickel, where the nickel's on the left side, that means we're going to have more blockers on the right than they do. Plus, we have a tight end leading to the right. So if the defensive end stands up, we're just going to hand it off to the running back up the middle for a huge chunk of yards. And if the defensive end runs at the QB, runs at the running back, we're going to take it with the QB. And we're also going to have the tight end leading for that second level to get a potential huge gain. The pistol playbook was really good in Madden to begin with, but with this added concept, it becomes one of the best playbooks in the game in our opinion. We took this concept and created a deadly scheme out of pistol that we're going to put out next week in our membership section. If you haven't checked out our membership yet, we put out week one and week two's tips out. We have a DT A-gap three-man rush. We have a base defense at a 3-4 that in our opinion is the best next-gen defense in the game. We broke down our 3-4 current gen shake blitz into full detail. We also have offensive current gen tips. And next week, we're going to reminisce a little bit, go back to the Chicago defensive playbook, and give you these out of that. Plus, a Philly, Tennessee, and pistol scheme. Check the description for a link to our membership. Till next time, it's lights. Peace.